The Pregnant Care Show is proudly brought to you by Florida's Formula Spiritonic Babies are such a delight to watch and are delicate to care for. The next stage after birth is becoming a parent and a caretaker to this beautiful bundle of joy. Days and few weeks after birth is the bonding time where you get to learn and know more about your baby and the care to give them. How special should the care of the newborn be? Am I doing it right or wrong? Do I get help or what exactly should I be doing at this whole baby period? Having a baby is a great joy and experience most mothers can never forget. Once you've gone through the phase of pregnancy, labor and delivery, it is obvious that you have a baby to care for. There's no wrong in asking for help and support during this phase. It was a whole lot during the journey of pregnancy and is going to be much more during the journey of baby care and growth. Welcome to the Pregnant Care Show. On today's episode, we will be talking about care of the newborn baby. My name is Dede. Welcome to the show. So with me today, I have a beautiful midwife who will be discussing with me how to care for the newborn baby. Hello, madam. Hi. You are welcome to the Pregnant Care Show. Thank you. Okay, so for the sake of our viewers, we want to know your name and what you do. Okay. My name is Cleopatra Afubi. I am a midwife. Okay, so where do you work? Uh, I'm at Rayan Medical Center. So we have Madam Cleopatra with us for today's episode and she's going to answer everything on the care of the newborn for today's episode. We'll go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll find out more on the care of the newborn baby. Welcome back. If you just joined, it's still the Pregnant Care Show, and we are looking at care of the newborn baby. So we want to know, when we are talking of the care of the newborn or care of the baby, what are the components? What does it entail? Maybe bathing, something. We want to know all those things that come under the care of the baby. Okay. So when we talk about caring about a baby, like you rightly said, bathing, we talk about feeding. Okay. That's breastfeeding. Okay. Um, and this breastfeeding is supposed to be exclusive for um, about six months. Okay. Then the mother moves on to the complementary feeding. feeding. We also have the cord care, which is the early stage of the baby's life. Okay. Um, changing diapers, okay. bonding with this baby, um, knowing when and when not to get worried about the baby, okay. when to change the baby's soil diapers. And then uh, we also look at medications. Because we know some mothers do a lot of um, self-medication for their babies. Okay. Even how to dress this baby considering our weather. You know, we have the hematan, we have the, the hot season. season. So you know when to pack the baby and when not, not to, to pack, pack the, the baby. baby. Yes. Okay. So, so I think the those are some of the components of the baby care. So like you rightly said, I, I think we are going to elaborate more on some of those components. So it comes when it comes to feeding, breastfeeding. Why should I breastfeed? What important is it to my baby or to myself? Because we have few mothers who say, I don't want to breastfeed, it's stressful and all that. How would you encourage a mother or a new mother who doesn't have any idea what breast milk does to the baby or herself? What should we say breastfeeding is? How important is it? Okay, first of all, there are um, importance of breastfeeding to both the mother yeah, and, and the, the baby and the family as, as a well. whole. Okay. So talking about the family, when you breastfeed your child, it reduces cost. So if, say, you have to buy SMA or any other formula, if you give um, breast milk, you, you cut down cost. Yes. So um, when you come to the mother herself, when you're able to breastfeed, it helps in something we call involution. Because we believe that the, the uterus is so small, 
when there's a baby in there, it becomes enlarged. Yes. So after delivery, it's supposed to go back to its pre-pregnant stage. So when you're able to breastfeed, it helps um, the oxytocin to be released. That's from the brain. And then it also works on the uterus to contract, expel the clots, and then this uterus goes back. Yes. It's also a family planning method. Yes. So we call it lactational amenorrhea. When you're breastfeeding, you don't menstruate. Now, coming to the mother and the baby, there's bonding. The skin to skin contact because I believe that any mother who breastfeeds a baby looks at the baby, you communicate with the baby, you sing to the baby, you cuddle this baby. So, at the end of the day, there's bonding now to the baby, um, him or herself. When you are breastfeeding, we believe that there's water in the breast milk, there's a lot of amino acids, all the immunoglobulins, yes. So this baby has that. So the rate at which such a baby would fall sick will be different from oh. that of a formula-fed baby. Yes, so it's, it's very important. That we should breastfeed Exactly. Baby. It also prevents some um, um, infections. Okay. Yes, for the baby, especially in the GI um, tracts. Yes, so it, it's very good for the baby. Okay, so that was under the breastfeeding. Yes. So we are moving to the cord care as well. How will you teach a mother how to care for the baby's cord? Probably... She just delivered, she's left the hospital. How can you educate her on cord care? What should she do? Okay, so I'm um, talking about the cord. Personally, I advise mothers not to dwell so much on bathing the baby because the baby is not going anywhere. Where he or she is coming from is so clean. Yes, so after the first bath we do for the baby, that's about six hours, hours after, after delivery. delivery. We um, advise this mother not to bath the baby. You only do what we call top and tailing. That's you clean the baby, you wipe the baby. When the baby soils his or a diaper, you take time to pat the perineal area, you clean it up. Now, after doing that, you ensure that you wash your hands anytime you handle the baby and after handling the baby. So, in the absence of bathing, you clean the cord. Those times we're using um, spirits and then cotton. Now we use. Um, um, Chlorhexidine gel, sorry. But there are some facilities that still, still use, use the spirit. It. Exactly. So I think you should give us both. Don't dwell on one. Okay. So with a methylated spirit, when you use that, we expect the cord to go off or fall off about um, at most seven days because the cord will dry off. Now, I teach mothers to wash their hands carefully. Now, pat the cotton wool in about five parts. Mm. You pull them in your left hand. You see, we clamp the cord after separating the baby from the mother. Yes, so it yes. comes with this blue holder exactly. or white. Mostly it's blue yes. or white. Yes. So you clean the base of the cord. You drop that. Now you clean from bottom up, bottom up, till um, you exhaust the cotton. cotton. Yes. And then you make sure you clean the clamp because there's usually germs around oh, okay. it. Then you leave the cord to dry. dry. Yes, so I usually encourage mothers to continue wearing the welcome baby dress for them so that air can circulate Fine. around the cord. Oh, okay. But if it's chlorhexidine gel you are using, we use it once a day. And you know it's a gel, so it will take time, time to, to dry. dry up. Yes, so um, you put it around the cord, you apply it in the same manner from base Top, top, base top. Yes, then you leave it to dry. You make sure you don't put it inside the diaper when you dress this baby. It's outside the exactly. diaper. Exactly. But with a chlorhexidine gel, you don't expect it to fall off as early as, as the, the spirit, spirit would. would. Have done. So it will take at most 14 days. Wow. Yes. I prefer to use spirit because <laughs> I want it to fall off early. What sign in a baby we tell that this baby is not is not doing well? Probably I do not know how babies behave, but then. Sh there should be some signs or behaviors of a baby that will prompt a mother that, oh, this baby is not well. What, what are those signs? And when you find out any of those signs, what should you do? Okay, so I usually say that baby A will definitely be different from baby, baby B, B, even if it's of the same mother. So first of all, you, the mother, should be able to observe your child. My child may like to sleep. Your child may not like to sleep. So the mother should be able to observe this baby so after ruling out the normals, there are the odds. Okay. Yes. So um, if my baby sleeps too much, is it that she, he or she is too satisfied? Or the weather is so cold. Every baby would like a cold weather to sleep. Yes. So have I packed this baby appropriately? If you see that all these things are done and your baby is still crying, there's a need to go to the hospital because babies can't tell you, mommy, what this is, is what is wrong with, with me. me. Yes. 
So you should be able to take your child to the hospital when you see that some things are going out of the normal. So maybe something like vomiting, diarrhea. So when your baby is lethargic, that's very weak. weak. Mm. The baby is not responsive. The baby is crying. You are cuddling. You are, you've checked still, diaper, but he or she is still, still crying. crying. Yes, you've seen that you've positioned the baby well. The baby is still crying. And one thing mothers always um, overlook is whether they are breastfeeding well or they've put the baby to it's breast breastfeed. properly. But if you don't do so properly, baby would end up sucking only air. There'll be so much air in the abdomen. You would think there's something they call asram. But for all you know, it is your yes, fault. Yes. Exactly. So you should look out for all those all things. All that, okay. Yes. So okay. first, we want to find out how important is bonding and what are the ways to bond with your baby? One very important reason why there's a need to bond mm -hmm. with a baby is it gives them the sense of security. Okay. There's nothing so much like having someone to trust you. Babies easily trust, and the trust of the baby is so pure. Yes, yeah, so there's a need for the baby to know that, okay, anytime I am crying, there's somebody to hold mm -hmm. on to me, there's somebody to speak to me. So we start bonding process when the woman is actually pregnant. Okay. Yes, we believe when you speak to the baby, the baby hears you. So when baby, there's one funny thing about babies, they're able to tell this is mommy's voice, this is daddy, this is oh, a stranger. Okay. Yes. So they, they are actually able to tell? Yes, they're able to tell. Okay. For funny reasons, I don't know how, okay. but they are able to tell this is my mommy, this is the person that cares for me all the time. So how do we prevent diaper rash and how do we encourage healing if there should be a diaper rash? Okay, so like I said earlier, you should observe your baby. Some babies and even adults have very sensitive skin. Mm. Yes, and then it's not all um, the products that, that would be would okay for my baby, skin. even if it was okay for your baby. Okay. So you observe, and then you make sure you change the diaper very frequently. frequently. So for a newborn, we advise mm. that you change diaper at least six to eight times. Okay. Because you have to feed the baby at least eight to 12 times. Okay. And they ha their abdomen is so small, anytime they eat, they have to pass out. They have to pee Passing. and all that, yes. So you check regularly to see if baby has sold the diaper, then you change, change it. it. And then you have to apply barrier cream, like the Vaseline, uh, Vaseline mm -hmm. sorry, um, shea butter, not and so hard. Yes, mouth. you apply it so that um, the urine or the, um, the stool will not stick on the baby's the skin. skin. Yes, so you change frequently, you apply these things. Th those are ways actually just watch out for your baby take notes know what your baby likes and what baby doesn't like and probably you would be good at what you do would we'll go for a short commercial break. when we come back we'll hit the streets to find out what our viewers have for us on today's episode <laughs> Florendish formula is a liquid herbal iron extract with the benefits of organic iron free polymaltose plus vitamin C and other B complex vitamins in the base of fruit juices and yeast. Florendish formula helps increase your energy level, stamina and highly nutritional and also reduces tiredness and fatigue. It contains vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12 and C. Florendish formula helps keep the family smart, healthy and strong. For inquiries, contact Unicom Chemist Limited on 0302-324-595 or 0302-324-383. You can also email unicomchemist at yahoo.com or visit www.unicomchemist.com. This advert is FDA approved. Hello, my name is Lucy, and I want to ask, I heard some baby girls menstruate and also have teeth. How true is that? My name is Collins, and my question is, is it good for a newborn baby to sleep in the other room? You know, mostly, if you look or watch in movies like the white folks, most of them, when they have babies, they have a special room for them. They have the baby's court and the room, the children sleep inside. So my worry is that, is it good? Because we were brought up in a way that you sleep on the same bed with your parents, your mom, your dad, in case of anything, they can take care of you. But if you are in the other room, is it that safe for the baby to even sleep there? I want to know, usually 
babies are always crying at night and you wonder how come um as for them it is the night now everyone is supposed to sleep but babies you always have babies crying at night so i want to ask why is it that babies usually sleep during the day and they are awake at night me pa cho your friend is sandra boatin me pa cho me person me bi say em pedo do say and i will be feed i cry for fra ya wono my name is david the question i want to ask is that how much crying is normal for my newborn baby So those were some questions from our viewers on the street. So Madam Cleopatra, a uh, viewer would want to know, she said she's heard that baby girls menstruate like after delivery. How true is that? Okay, so we have something we call withdrawal of the maternal hormones, okay. that's the estrogen. And um, this hormone sometimes are passed on to the baby before delivery. Yeah, so you see the babies menstruate. but. This bleeding shouldn't be more than three days. Okay. So I would encourage mothers to visit the hospital as soon as possible if they see anything, anything like more than the three days. But is it that heavy or just stains of blood mm, or something? It should be from stains to like light. Okay. You know, for a baby, mm -hmm. she can't bleed, bleed so light. might not be detrimental. Okay. Yes, so it's something very light. It, it, some do not even recognize nice it. it. Yes, it's just like um, having a false teeth. Yes, so yes. what of the false teeth? Is that, is that true as well? Yes, it's also true. So if a baby with a false teeth, we take it off. You can take it off? Yes. By it's the not dentist. painful? It's, it's painful. Okay. It's painful. It's not done by the midwife. Mm. Yes. Okay. So if a mother sees anything of that sort, they she should just report to, report to the, to the okay. doctor. So our next viewer wants to know, why is it that babies don't sleep at night? It's even obvious. Most baby cry during night but they sleep during the day so is it because they have enough sleep during the day that is why they don't sleep at night she wants to know why babies just normally do not sleep at night so the question is is the baby feeding enough you should check if baby is feeding, feeding enough. enough like i said if baby is not full baby will not sleep is the baby appropriately dressed how is the weather you should check all, all those things. things yes so you should be able to put the baby to breast very well, ensure that the breast is empty, burp the baby. You shouldn't leave the baby on bed. Okay. Yes, because if there's so much wind, baby will be very uncomfortable. Okay. Yes, so if baby has all these things checked, baby should be able to, to sleep. sleep. There are also babies that naturally want to be cuddled. Like I said earlier, there are the odds. Yes, so if baby wants to be cuddled, maybe after a few cuddles, the baby, baby might go to sleep. Yes, please. So our next viewer would also want to know, how can she introduce her new baby to a younger one? According to her, she has a little baby, probably one, maybe you have a baby around one, one and a half, and then you are, you, you've put into bed again. You know, how do you introduce the new baby to? Okay, so having a newborn starts from conception. Sure. So this, this young child should be involved in the whole process. So he or she is not left all alone. Yes, yeah, so you should be able to introduce this new one to the During the existence. period of yeah, pregnancy. Yes, during the period of conception. So you have um, a brother or a sister coming. Are you happy? Are you happy to see him or her? It's, it's that kind of thing. So he or she will be under your care. Get the baby involved. You, you shouldn't underestimate that baby's intelligence. Yes. So when you do that, I think the transition will be quite easier. Okay. So our next viewer is saying that, is it okay for your baby to sleep in a different room and you are also in a different room? No. Um, there's something we call sudden infant death yes. syndrome. Yes. And when you keep baby away from you, when baby is even struggling in the night, how, how will you, you see? Know? If baby is um, mistakenly turned, um, face down How baby do can't come back, back. Mm -hmm. yeah so it's ideal you put the baby beside Bias, you if you can if it has to be on the bed fair enough if it has to be a cot beside your bed fair enough so that all the time you should be checking is baby aspirating is the baby okay you should just just to have an eye on the baby exactly. baby should be with you bedding in i think yes. okay. so you don't keep baby they are away room. how much crying is too much crying it's dependent on the baby okay you observe Yes. So maybe if baby, baby is not a type that cries a lot, but at a point in time, baby keeps crying. Maybe that could be too much crying. So or what do you think? If you check, if baby is full, you check there's no um, wrong. soil, baby's diaper, baby's temperature. You should check all that. Baby is dressing. Is everything okay? Is there somebody in the room baby doesn't like? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
That's <laughs> so then any other cars outside these things then you should be worried about it. You should be worried. You should take baby to, to the, the hospital. hospital. Yes. Okay. So at last you guys asking, how often should I feed my baby? Okay, so coming to breastfeeding, it's on demand. Okay. If baby is not demanding, then you mother you should ensure eight to twelve times a day, day. baby should feed. As baby goes, the um the demand the frequency would reduce but the quantity would increase. increase yes so like i said you observe baby okay. so you see that my baby likes to eat about six times a day but today it's been like just three times you can observe within a period of 24 hours if it's not going well mm. you report to the hospital okay so how how can males be involved in care of the baby okay so with male involvement yes. it starts from conception okay it's a family it's not an individual thing throughout conception even at the delivery suit mm -hmm. the male should be involved whatever it is you tell mother you tell baby, uh, father equally because their support is so important please look into the camera and tell them that their support is so important leaving the mother to care for the baby can be overwhelming some go even into depression some go into postpartum blues so the father right from the word go should be involved in the care of the newborn okay so can i get help in caring for my new baby is it okay for me to get help to get support because some might say you're a lazy mother why do you want somebody to come and help you care for your baby why do you need support does that make me a lazy mother it doesn't make one a lazy mother caring for a baby goes beyond changing diaper and just giving porridge yes it, it involves emotional strength psychological strength financial strength it's a catacomb even spiritual yes so mothers need help you need somebody who has been there before you need somebody who has the knowledge you, you need someone who has extra patience than you do yes to be able to go through it even if you've been a mother before with a second one you still need, need. help mm -hmm. like you go for the first one okay yes. so there's no wrong in getting help or support during the care of your baby because you need much rest and you need much time for yourself as well so seek help when you need help and to our husbands out there can you help your wife in caring for your baby? There is nothing like, it's your baby, it's your baby, it's our baby. So provide the necessary help you could give to your wife. Let's go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we will go for a couple moments. Could you, you look happy and strong. Yeah, Charlie. But I couldn't have done it without you, you know. Madam was always complaining. But ever since you introduced me to Spare Tonic, life has been good. Spare Tonic helps boost their immune system, fitness level, and performance. A tablet a day is all you need, man. Spare Tonic. Strong as a For inquiries, contact Unicom Chemist Limited on 0302-324595 or 0302-324595. 4383 email info at unicornchemist.com. Spretonic is not suitable for persons under 18. This advert is FDA approved. I'm Philip Dobbin. I live at Dansumai. I am a dispensing technologist and I want to share my little experience to all fathers as a father. When I realized my wife was pregnant, we went to the hospital and whatever the midwife told us, we tried to follow all the instructions he, she gave us. So I started helping her in so many ways because it came to a point in time she was very weak, she was restless and I have to help her in a whole lot of things. So I decided to help her in order to keep the pregnancy in a good shape. After delivery to I, I, I saw that she has become very weak and then I have to help her in the household chores. So I helped in cleaning the house, 
at times sweeping, and then also when she is breastfeeding the child, and I ca I see that she is tired or she is stressed out, I try to help her in in some ways. It was really interesting, and I appreciate it a lot. When it comes to the caring of the baby aspect, to I decided to help my wife a lot. So what I did was, at times, when she is breastfeeding the baby and I see that she is tired, I collect the child so that my wife can also rest a bit. When he is crying, I collect him, play with him, so that the mother can also have some free time to rest. So these things that I did to help my wife was helping my wife a lot. So we were able to care for the baby very well and now he is doing well. I encourage all fathers to also help their wives when they are in such situations. Welcome back from a couple moments. That was a beautiful session. So with our beautiful midwife, we would want to have your final words to our viewers on baby care. Anything we weren't able to share, I want you to look straight into the camera and talk to our mothers. Encourage them, tell them something nice about baby care. Okay, so to our beautiful clients out there, I want you to know that pregnancy is not an easy thing. Even having to miscarry a child, it's not very comfortable. So when you are pregnant, you should seek help. Don't think it's a normal process. Every pregnancy could be normal. Every pregnancy could be abnormal. So seek help when you need it. And also every single supplement you are giving at the hospital should be taken. Don't go to the pharmacy, don't go to the chemical shop when you are unwell. Seek help. Come to your midwife as and when you need help. And then after delivery, do well to come to the hospital. There are four sessions that um, the baby should be able to attend. That's the first 24 hours after delivery. Uh, the baby should be seen by the midwife. The next 48 to 72 hours, baby should be seen by the midwife. The 7 to 14 days, baby should be seen. Then the sixth week, where you'll be transferred to the community health nurse to continue the care. At any point in time when you think baby is unwell, please come to the hospital. When the mother thinks she's unwell, please come to the hospital. Thank you. So thank you for coming on our show. We are expecting that we would have you more on our show. So we want to know where do you work? What do you do and where exactly can we find your hospital? Okay, so um, I'm a midwife at the Rayan Hospital. We are located at Dansoman Asoridao, just beside um, Papa's Pizza. And at Rayan Medical Hospital, we offer services like general care, psychological care, gynecology. Uh, we go on to dietetics. Everything you are looking for, we have it at Rayan Hospital. We are always at your service 24 hours. Yes, and at Rayan Medical Center, your health is our priority. So your health is their priority. So let's look at some tips for today's episode. Wash your hands every time or use a hand sanitizer before handling your baby. Always support your baby's head and neck when carrying your baby or laying your baby down. Avoid shaking your newborn babies in pain or frustration. Shaking as steadies can cause bleeding in the brain. Tickling is much preferred to shaking of the newborn baby. Seek immediate health care when you see unusual signs of in-health in your baby, like vomiting, diarrhea, or baby feeling lazy all day. Never give herbal preparations or drugs to your baby unless it's been prescribed by your doctor or midwife. Remember to pay much attention to yourself or take care of yourself as well. A strong and a healthy mother grows a strong baby. So those are some tips for today's episode. Thank you for watching this week's episode. We are very grateful for having you keep watching us. On today's episode, we look at care of the newborn baby. So try as much as possible to just observe your baby, know what your baby likes and your baby do not like as well. If you have any questions, speak to your doctor or your midwife about your baby. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, kindly leave them in all our comment sessions 
on all our social media handles and keep subscribing to our YouTube channel at The Pregnant Care Show. You can also follow me on my personal IG page at the day underscore Gao and leave in your comments or questions or any topic you want us to discuss about on our show. So the show was brought to you by Floradish Syrup and Spetonic Capsule. See you next week.